Hey, uh, Corey here, back with part four of my introduction to Comcare. Uh, and this one I think is going to be really quick. Um, I mentioned before uh, that I, 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 I added this score uh, question to my event form, the, the rating question where I said I wanted this thing to be a number from one to ten. Um, and but what the way it works right now, um, you know, if I go in and make a new event, uh, I can put, you know, I can put a thousand in here, um, and Comcare is not going to complain about that. Um, but if you actually want to restrict that, and you know, there's all sorts of of reasons to do that, ages, dates of birth, uh, et cetera. Um, Comcare, Comcare also uh, makes that pretty easy. And, and so to do that, I'm going to add this logic section to, uh, to the form. So this is hidden in this menu here. Um, you can kind of toggle it on and off. But once you, uh, once you start needing to add logic to your, to your form, you can use that here. And so um, so I want to add basically uh, some validation logic. So I'm going to add uh, a validation condition, um, and so, and I, I, I want this to be. Um, so this is going to say sort of like what is a valid, uh, what is a valid answer. Um, and so, one thing I can do is I can drag the question itself into this box. It actually just turns into a little dot that's um, that's a shortcut for the current question um, but so I'm gonna say is greater than or equal to zero and I'm, and I'm just gonna type the dot because it's quicker uh, is less than or equal to 10 um, Cool, and you can see Comcare has has taken that thing that I, you know, kind of made in the in the UI there, and it's it's turned it into this expression. This expression is uh, called XPath. It's an advanced Comcare concept. Um, it's it's very powerful, um, but it's also quite complicated. So I'm not going to get too f deep into that. Um, but so now I've added this this question. I, I put one to ten, but uh, the the thing was zero to ten. So so I'm going to save that. And now I can, um, as soon as that saves, I can refresh. And I can go ahead and test this out. So now I'm going to try to add an event. Um, and let's say 50 minutes. Um, and so let's try 99. And so now you can see, okay, this, the answer is outside the allowed range. If I try negative one, it'll be the same thing. But if I try eight, okay, cool. That's a good answer. Um, this, uh, this message can be customized as well. Um, this, uh, I don't know what happened there. Well, that seems to be a bug. Uh, what happens if I submit that? Fascinating. <laughs> if I was uh, doing a partner video, this would this would be where I show you how to report a bug to Comcare. Um, but I'm not going to do that. Um, anyway, so the other thing, so this answer is outside the allowed range. That's that's kind of the default. Thing. Um, if I want to say, you know, this value must be a number between zero and ten, so I can give that, you know, a little bit of a better. I can even say your score. Um, so I can give that a better message. Um, and the other thing I was just thinking about, um, I don't plan on. Uh, doing things in the future. Um, so I'm going to add a constraint to this date. 
uh, to basically say um, the dates must be less than or equal to, and then so there's this magic xpath function called today. Um, so this is, you know, you might. I think this will probably uh, be linked here on this guide to common logic, but um, but that's a useful one. That will just take the current day, uh, so I can save that. Um, and now again, I'm gonna refresh this. And sorry about that screen flicker. Um, sometimes my computer does that. But yeah, so now let's let me try entering a date in the future. And again, yeah, the answer is outside the allowed range. Let's while we're in here, we'll check that message. So yep. Um, and maybe we can say uh, you can't log events in the future for you, Marty McFly. I like to have a little bit of fun with my apps sometimes. Okay, so that's validation, um, and you can get really you can get really complicated with this. You can um, you can reference stuff across questions in the form. So if I wanted to say, you know, for example, your duration uh, plus your score can, you know. That doesn't make any sense, but um, had to be less than some certain value, then then you can do that as well. Um, yeah, those are the basics. Till next time.